Derek, come on, man. I believed in you. We all believed in you. What is up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. And what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community and try to use those as tools to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So before I jump into the topic of Garrett Wass and accountability, a uh, real quick announcement for all of you lovely people who are over on Patreon, I just put up my first Patreon exclusive video. Yay! All right, so this, uh, I announced this like yesterday. So everybody at the $5 tier and up, I will be posting like exclusive videos over there about different topics. This first one is how to help a friend who's sad, but also how to deal with your own kind of stuff and expectations and all, ah, all of that. So if you're a patron, go over there and check it out. If you wanna sign up, there'll be links everywhere. All right, anyways, let's jump into this thing. All right, so Garrett Watts, let me catch you up to speed real quick. Let me catch you up. So a few weeks ago, a few weeks ago, uh, Garrett uploaded a video with Shane Dawson and Ryland Adams and Morgan Adams and Andrew. Andrew popped in towards the end. Nobody mentioned this, but Andrew, Andrew came at the end. Why wasn't Andrew helping? But they like surprised him, so I ain't gonna hold that against you, Andrew. But anyways, Garrett is a bit of a hoarder. He had this dirty house. I did a whole video about this. I will link to it in the info card and stuff. So go check that out if you wanna be caught up to speed. But, Anyways, what I, I talked about in my first video about it was like, okay, now, now is the accountability. So something that a lot of us struggle with is, you know, I'll do this when. Like we use something as an excuse. So Garrett was saying that he doesn't make videos because of his house. His house is in such a mess, he is not making videos because he just thinks about being anxious. He doesn't have friends over, he doesn't do this, he doesn't do that. So in my last video, I said this. So, will he keep uploading? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set a calendar reminder in my phone right now from one month from today, all right? So November 21st, we are going to see how many uploads Garrett did, okay? So I want all of you to do the same and we will keep Garrett accountable and we'll tweet at him and we'll see if he did. I, I don't know, like Garrett does a lot of effort. He puts a lot of effort into his editing. I think if this is his full-time gig, I would think that he should be able to pump out at least one video a week. At least one day, a video a week. And after I said that, Garrett replied with this. And it's actually my pinned comment. Do you see that? Do you see that? So, basically, I'm here to call Garrett out. And this is Tough Love Chris. But make sure you stay until the end of this video because like, this actually brings up something about me too. And I'm gonna talk about myself and how I need to be accountable myself. But this is like, one of the main things is like, I'm not here to attack Garrett or anything like that, but you know, like for me personally, and one of the reasons I, I make these videos is like, we need to be held accountable. All of us need to be held accountable. Like we we all say we're gonna do things that are gonna improve our, our, our mental health or physical health, or whatever it is, and then we don't do it. We don't do it. But the thing is, is here, there's two sides of this thing, okay? So like shaming people does not work. It's been scientifically proven. Um, I need to do some videos about studies behind that. Like shaming a person does not help, right? But then there's this balancing act because enabling the person is definitely not good either. So I come up from a place of accountability with tough love, right? Like the only reason I'm doing this is because I care about Garrett. I want him to do something that he loves. I want him to, um, you know, make a living. I want him to enjoy life. I want him to do all of this, right? Like, it's not something where I'm like codependent on it and it's like keeping me up at night. But I mentioned in my last video, like, I am not subscribed to uh, Garrett just because his infrequent uploads. Like, that's just, like, people gotta earn my subscription. Hopefully I earn yours, you know what I mean? So Garrett talked a lot about how, you know, he was gonna start making videos and and yeah, like I was gonna give him two weeks, I was even gonna give him a month because the calendar reminder was actually for like uh, almost 10 days from now when I'm posting this. But the thing is, like I mentioned in that video, in a month, in a month, Garrett should be able to post bi-weekly, okay? Every two weeks, he should be able to have a video, just doing goofy stuff or whatever. And I wanted to make this video because um, I'm subscribed to Jeffree Star and it pops up and there's a video with Garrett. I'm like, okay, cool. Because typically what big creators do is they both post a video at the same time. I'm like, all right, cool. Maybe Garrett's like posting a video that he did with Jeffree Star for his channel, but he didn't. 
He didn't. It was just a video over on Jeffrey's channel. Uh, it's a good video. It's a good video too. Like, here's my favorite clip. Here's my favorite clip from the entire video. Tesla threes. Eh. No, I don't know what that means. I would... Um, look at, uh, can I at least, can I see him? I think we should show you my garage. And also, the guy at the park doesn't deserve you pulling up in anything, because if he rejected you at your Prius, he doesn't deserve you at your Lambo. Oh my god. Fuck him. Like, I actually tweeted this out, and then I, like, messaged my girlfriend and her friend Shelby. I'm like, who am I becoming? Like, who am I? Right? But anyways, anyways, Garrett, if you see this, Come on, man. All right, but also I wanna let you all know too, like there's there's a chance, there's always a chance. Like I always try to empathize and stuff like, maybe something insane, crazy, hectic happened in Garrett's life where he couldn't make a video, maybe he had a family emergency, whatever it is. I don't know. Like in those cases, it's like, okay, cut him some slack. But if it's just a case of being lazy, yeah, we need to talk about that, stay accountable. But now let's talk about me. You thought you were only coming here to hear about Garrett Watts. No, let's talk about me because one of the reasons I make these videos and talk is like, because I have a lot of personal experience. I have a lot of personal experience. And something that I've talked about on my channel before is that I don't talk about YouTubers. I'm trying to get you to relate to these YouTubers and learn from them, right? So Garrett's situation was he had a dirty house and he said he wasn't going to, um, he, he like couldn't record videos until his house was clean. Now his house is clean and now he's not doing it. Well, now it's time for me to call myself out too. I have been so unhealthy for about a month now. All right, so a lot of you have, uh, who have been following me for a while, see me like post on Instagram that I'm going to the gym or I like do it on Facebook. I do all these things or I'll talk about it here and I'm eating right, I'm eating healthy, all those things. But ever since I went to Vid Summit, like I was like, okay, like this is something that I do. It's a trend that I do, okay? Where like, I'm doing great, I have all these good habits, eating healthy, going to the gym, and then like a vacation happens or something. I'm like, okay, cool, this is the, the break, okay? Like I'm gonna eat whatever, you know, da 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 da, and I'll do that. But then I came back home, this was like two or three weeks, like three weeks ago? Yeah, I think three weeks ago. Came back and I just stayed in that unhealthy habit. And like, I can tell when I edit my videos, like I've definitely, put some weight back on and I'm holding my chubby cheeks, right? But the excuse I've been giving is Tristan and I are moving tomorrow, as of the time I'm recording this video, we're moving tomorrow and there is a gym like right next to us. Like there's only one gym in this gigantic complex. But anyways, um, yeah, I've talked, you know, me and her have talked and like I've been like eating crappy, I haven't been going to the gym and um, I keep saying like, oh, when we move, when we move, when we move, I'm gonna get back on it. And then I've almost used, I don't know if any of you have done this before too, if you struggle with weight and eating, I've used this as an excuse. So since I made that deal with myself that I'm gonna start eating healthier and being healthier once we move, I've been eating extra unhealthy, right? Like to get like my last hurrah. It's crazy because like I mentioned in a video not that long ago, an addict is an addict is an addict. For example, a lot of, drug addicts, right before they go to treatment, they use a lot of drugs, right? So like, I, I definitely did that the first time I went to treatment, but I can see how I do it with food too. So like, like I, I keep telling you guys, it's important to see like, where different things relate to each other. Like for example, my addiction can manifest in different ways, but also I can relate to Garrett Watts. Even his was, even though his was a hoarding issue, mine is a food and physical health issue. You see what I'm saying? So I am making this video and I wanted to add this part to it because I wanna be accountable. Like if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, first off, why aren't you following me on Instagram or Twitter? But ask me, hold me accountable. Like tweet at me and say, yo Chris, how's that gym doing, right? Hey Chris, I noticed you uploaded two or three videos today. Did you go to the gym, right? Chris, how many calories did you eat today? Chris, are you eating healthy? Chris, are you eating junk? Like do whatever, like I need people to keep me accountable too, right? So again, like I didn't make this video to attack Garrett or anything like that. I just love the dude and I hope he does well. The same as I do with all of you. Like in the Rewired Soul like Facebook group, like that's what we're doing. You know what I mean? So if you're not in there yet, come on over and join. But anyways, a little accountability for Garrett. Hopefully he sees this, hopefully he jumps on it or at least makes a video explaining. I don't know, I don't know at this point. I don't know if he makes a video, then I guess I gotta make a video too. Anyways, that's all I got, um, but yeah. Uh, let me know down in the comments below, like, do you struggle with this where you push something off until this point? And then do you ever let yourself down? And like, something that I realized too is like, sometimes when we let ourselves down, we get into this like thought pattern, this like thinking trap, and we start beating ourselves up and it makes us even more depressed and then we don't wanna do it even more, right? So for example, like with my weight, falling off, eating more, putting on pounds, and then I just get like, screw it, I'm just gonna shove my face more. So if you can relate to that, 
Let me know down in the comments below and maybe we can do something soon where we like all keep each other accountable. I think that would be fun. All right, but yeah, yeah, that's all I got. Again, if you're a patron and uh, $5 tier and up, the first exclusive video is over on Patreon, all right? Go check it out. But anyways, that's all I got. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And here is a beautiful list of all the Patreons and you get your name up here for only a dollar a month, all right? But yeah, if you wanna sign up for a dollar, one dollar, uh, five dollar, whatever dollar, you can click or tap right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. Keep me accountable. I'll see you next time.